So we are at the 2014 Allsop Client Champagne Reception at Harewood House near Leeds. It's our biennial event for us to meet our clients, for our clients to meet our other clients and network with other people from within Yorkshire and beyond. It's a lovely evening, the sun is shining and everybody's enjoying our champagne. Uh, confidence, I think there's a lot more confidence around, a lot more activity. From a funding point of view, obviously capital's available, so things are on the, up, on the up at the minute. The evening's fantastic. I've been to quite a few of these now and they're always wonderful. It's a lovely evening. I come every time, whenever I can. It's the most beautiful setting. We love all sorts and we love their hospitality. Also, to me, they're a friendly, um, family type of operation that I think that, um, that we always get, get the best out of um, and we get some good advice and some good help from them um, and they know who we are as well, which is great, and we get some good service. The thing about Allsop is that they are quite... Um, they're not in your face, but they're very professional and they do the job well and they work in their own market to a very high standard and I don't think you can ask for more of a firm. I'd much rather have a specialist who really knows his job than someone who pretends to know everything but doesn't necessarily do so. Allsop provides a lot of services um, from investment uh, sales to us to general advice to management of our portfolio um, and they do it very very well. Aaron manages our property portfolio. They've been doing it for over 10 years and we get a wonderful service. Uh, we're seeing the market certainly improving, yeah. Uh, values are starting to, to lift and it certainly helps uh, the world that we work in. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a good place to be at the moment. All SOPs value a lot of our residential um, land holdings. We have a, a number across the country and uh, they assist us in, on that side of the business. Very professional, very sociable, um, just fantastic people to deal with. The team in Leeds are absolutely wonderful. They're always at the end of the telephone and uh, they give a fantastic service. I think the market's on, on the up. I think everyone is, uh, there's a sense of vibrancy and people are looking at Leeds again in a positive way. Tour de France, there's lots of, there's lots of really good reasons to be in Leeds at the moment, not least the, uh, the, the property market and the investment potential it offers. Yes, I'm having a lovely evening. It's beautiful here at Harwood House. Um, the market is improving quite a lot. Uh, we've seen quite a significant rise in the number of people coming to view properties and also in the prices that they are achieving. The market is not booming yet in the regions. We know it is in London. And yesterday I was at the British Property Federation Committee, of which I'm chairman, and everybody keeps talking about London a buzz a boom, we know that is, but the regions still have a long way to go to catch up with 2007 values. And as long as the press keep talking about London, we'll always have a problem. We need to get them to understand what's happening in the regions. All stops are fantastic in that giving me informal advice before I go to credit so that I'm fully informed about any deals I write. Also do a variety of uh, tasks for us, mainly valuation work, but they uh, also introduce various investments for us and uh, can't talk highly enough of them. But now we're starting to build the facilities in central Leeds, there is there's a new school being built, the facilities for families, and I think there's a wonderful opportunity to build rented accommodation which will suit young families, even older families and older people as well, which could 
quite transform the centre of Leeds. Traditionally, cities like Leeds have been a sort of donut with everybody living on the outside and nothing in the middle. But I think we're going to see that change and move more to a European model where a lot of people live in rented accommodation in the town centre and feel quite comfortable and happy with that as their long-term solution.